Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, January 21st, 2019 by Gaia Blooming. I'm Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I honor my unique vibration. And today we are going to get more into the Aquarius energy, the Aquarius vibration. As of this recording, we are in the midst of the eclipse. We are still building to the full moon, but the moon is at least finally in the sign of Leo. Um, <laughs> so uh, just keep in mind as you watch this that the energies are still evolving and shifting, but I did want to get this done and out there. Um, sun in Aquarius. I wanted to go a little bit deeper into it because yesterday's horoscope was really focused on the full moon and the eclipse energy, which... May I mention that it's not like wham bam the energy goes away. Although we are now closing, you know, the eclipse corridor, this eclipse portal. Um, I always say the eclipses bring downloads, and so you're gonna be getting ahas and understanding, and hopefully moving forward from a bit of a shifted paradigm from where you were, and hopefully embracing the love energy. So that being said, let's dig into Aquarius. I think the most important thing we can embrace with Aquarius energy is the utilization of vibrational energy. So whether it is through colors or lights or sounds, music, or even our own personal vibration, I think that's one of the most important things to tune into in Aquarius. And that's definitely my theme. And I think it's been my theme for many years. But it just feels like, God, we still got to really grasp and understand this thing. So our energy mantra today, I honor my own, my unique vibration, my own unique vibration. Own wasn't in there, but it keeps popping in in my head. So my own unique vibration, although I think unique makes own obsolete, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> so vibrational energies. Aquarius is so interesting. It is an air sign. Air definitely has a mental quality. I would say, or I say personally, that Aquariuses are the geniuses of the zodiac. One of the things I notice about Aquarius is my dad was an Aquarius. His birthday is actually tomorrow, uh, but he is no longer with us. But when he was here, um, he's brilliant. But so often his energy was all up here and creating and having amazing ahas. But unless somebody kind of tethered him, he didn't always bring it down here. I always think that's what the glyph of Aquarius is. It has like those double wavy lines. And one is like the up here. And the other one's like, but you got to tether it to the earth. Bring it here. Bring your brilliance into earth. And so that's one of the things that we want to utilize with Aquarius energy is that grounding sense. So we can receive our brilliance. So we can be our own inner genius. Everybody has Aquarius somewhere in the chart. So you have inner genius in you, believe it or not. <laughs> um, but we want to we wanna be able to bring it in and not just keep it here in the non-physical thinking place. There is the potential, the possibility of manifesting. Another two, uh, uh, theme for Aquarius energy is that of tribe or community. And I think this is where we realize, especially as we can see the vibrations kind of um, layering over each other <laughs> in the atmosphere, that we all are connected in one way or another. Aquarius um, kind of pushes us to hopefully having that tribe, community, um, even vibrational family that we can connect with. So there is that desire. Aquarius can represent uh, in the chart friendship, for instance. So tuning into that. One of the other things that I really like to tune into with Aquarius, though, is I feel like this is where we can tune to our higher self and our tribe or council beyond. You know, Aquarius can get with otherworldly things. You know, they can connect with otherworldly energies. And that's one of the, the geniuses of Aquarius is being able to open to that energy. So just be aware, wherever Aquarius is in your chart, to be open to that energy, to be open to your beyond tribe, your council. I rely on them. Rumi is part of my council, and I swear he is always on me, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, but the biggest theme is honing our vibration, and we have that opportunity 24 hours a day 
to work our vibration and make sure it's accurate to ourselves, but also notice when we are getting thrown out of our own personal vibrational nature and finding a new balance. So that's one of the things to look at through this month. And that being said, we have other astro today that is bringing up a lot of interesting things. Our first thing today is Mars square Saturn. Now this is definitely major because Saturn is moving through Capricorn, helping Pluto <laughs> in the transformation and uh, re-establishment of structure and rules and laws. Mars in Aries brings each of us, the I am energy, the Aries energy, into this energy, making sure that we are being true to our passions. Noticing when you have those frustrations, where are they connecting into the old paradigm? And where are you being asked to shift with that? What I love about this connection, this square, which can bring up resistance, is that it's at 13 degrees. So there may be pokes, there may be prods, there may be personal revolution, evolution processes that need to go on within you through this process. Are you feeling passionate about your road ahead, about your work, about your life? Or are you feeling that frustration? If you are feeling that frustration, what is the block? And it's never something so much outside of you as it is something within you that needs to be worked through. Even if it came or originated from something outside of you, the work comes within so that you can shift your vibration back into that passion. Yes, this is the way I'm going. I also just want to mention Aries is that uh, war energy. The way to get what you want is not by threatening, murdering, killing anybody else. And I know most of you, like 99.99999% of you out there, feels that way. <laughs> um, but it's just a reminder to ourselves because we have to be very aware of that consciousness within us. Like when we're like, oh, I'm going to kill that, you know, whatever. Like that consciousness is within us still. We're all connected into this energy. So the awareness can bring healing to it. So. Just bring that up for your personal introspection and shift. That being said, our fire energies are like, woo, right now. <laughs> the moon in Leo, coming off of this full moon, is connecting with both Mars and Venus. So still activating that uh, Mars-Venus trine that was going on and throwing a little love on the energy. This is grand trine fire energy. It is creativity. It is inspiration, but it can also be fiery. And especially if it's activated by that Mars-Saturn square energy, that frustration could take over the passion and creativity aspect and make you be like, ah, I want to kill that person. So be very aware of that. The moon connecting to Mars, be very aware of your inner child. Hopefully with this moon, you did some inner child shifting. But like I said, these energies, these eclipses bring downloads. So there may be still some more shifting that needs to be done just for your personal awareness. Um, the moon is also connecting up with Jupiter. And this is preparing us for Venus connecting to Jupiter, which will be on Tuesday, tomorrow. Um, with the moon feeding into this Venus conjunct Jupiter energy, our pleasure sensors are off the wazoo. Um, you may feel the desire to shop and spend lots of money and fulfill your worth in all kinds of ways and... Uh, Regale yourself with jewels and shimmery, shiny things. Um, and you are deserving of the shiny and of the lovely, wonderful things. But just, you know, tune in. Tune into your own joy. Tune into your vibration. And just see, like, is my vibration complete where it's at? Like, do I feel good where I'm at right now? Or am I trying to out pleasure some of these other uncomfortable feelings that are going on. Listen to your own personal counsel and genius because sometimes when that Venus Jupiter connection comes together, especially in Sagittarius, we can be like Oprah and you get a million dollars and you get a million dollars and you get a million dollars and suddenly <laughs> the pleasure of giving we have nothing left to give. So just be very aware of your personal energy fields, what you're giving, how much you're spending, how much you're indulging in. Be conscious and be present in your body. All right, so I've got very interesting cards and I just want to point something out. I pulled 
one one card. I pulled two, uh, here we go, two two cards. One upside down and one right side up. And then two three cards. One upside down, one right side up. And I was like, one, two, three, and oh my god, all the patterns. So, I honor my own unique vibration. I honor my unique vibration. Own was not in there. I don't know why it keeps popping in there. That's there for somebody. Own. Take it. Okay. <laughs> I honor my unique vibration, existence, knowing who we are. Schizophrenia card in reverse. How I take it is do not get stuck in your head. Do not overanalyze this stuff. Rather, work your vibrations. Work with co creating vibrationally with the very friendly universe. Here's this grounding, too. Here they are. Here's the Aquarius with the double lines. Here they are reaching up here for this inspiration and yet grounding. Pull it in into the, uh, into the earth. Isolation card in reverse and guidance. You have guidance. You have tribe. You have helpers. Do not feel alone. That's one of the things Aquarius can bring up. Ah, oh, these are the places where I am my unique thing, but it makes me kind of feel like a freak. We're all freaks. We all have our unique pieces, you know? And so it's okay. We need to not hide who we are. We need to celebrate and bring these things forward. Listen to your guidance supporting you in being your unique self. Don't hide it. Don't isolate it. This is a time to liberate that energy. So I'm going to liberate you with that. <laughs> being said, um, Aquarius is, this is your month. I'm going to be doing Aquarius readings on my Patreon page coming up this week. So if you haven't joined and you're curious, come join us over there. Besides that, you can always book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Ah, uh, and that is it. So you have the power. You have the vibrational power always in your fingertips. Um, the better it gets, the better it gets. And there is more than enough love in the world for you. Namaste.